Hello and warm greetings from the United States. We are so excited to welcome you back to Nostalgia. We have recently lost some remarkable talents. This episode is a heartfelt tribute to the incredible lives they led and the lasting legacies they left behind. As we take a moment to remember those we have lost, we ask for your support. If their work resonates with you, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to our channel as a tribute to their memory. Together, let us honor and remember these extraordinary souls. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Tony Pankhurst, best known for his unforgettable portrayal of the enigmatic curator in Supermassive Games' The Dark Pictures Anthology, left an indelible mark on the hearts of many. Born in 1957, Pankhurst's career spanned over four decades, showcasing his immense talent across film, television, and radio. He became a beloved figure in the anthology series, featuring in Man of Medan, Little Hope, House of Ashes, and The Devil in Me. While Pip Torrens provided the voice and motion capture, it was Pankhurst's likeness that truly brought the curator to life, adding depth and intrigue to the narrative. Beyond his on-screen presence, Pankhurst further connected with fans by appearing in the live-action trailer for House of Ashes in 2021, cementing his role in the hearts of the gaming community. His contributions weren't limited to gaming. He also made memorable appearances in major films, such as Rogue One, A Star Wars Story. Known for his unwavering dedication and passion, Pankhurst was not only a remarkable actor, but also a devoted supporter of Brighton and Hove Albion FC, reflecting his love for football. His personal life was deeply rooted in family and community, and his final weeks were spent with the compassionate care of Hospice in the Weald, a cause his family now encourages donations to, in his memory. Pankhurst passed away at the age of 67, leaving behind a legacy cherished by both his family and the gaming community. His life and work brought joy to countless people, and his memory will be celebrated through the many lives he touched. Tributes to Tony Pankhurst will continue to honor the man who brought so much light into the world. Mick Underwood, celebrated for his extraordinary talent and immense contributions to the world of music, was a remarkable English drummer whose career spanned over five decades. He is best known for his work with legendary bands such as The Outlaws, Episode 6, Quatermass, and Gillen. Underwood's rhythmic mastery left an indelible mark on the rock and progressive music scenes. Born on September 5, 1945, in England, Mick Underwood began playing drums at the age of 14. By the time he left school, he had already embarked on a professional music career. His early years were marked by collaborations with iconic musicians like Richie Blackmore and Ian Gillen, laying the groundwork for his illustrious journey in music. Underwood's first major breakthrough came with The Outlaws, where his steady drumming earned him widespread recognition. His collaboration with Richie Blackmore continued through various projects, including Episode 6 and Quatermass. However, it was with the band Gillen, fronted by former Deep Purple vocalist Ian Gillen, that Underwood achieved significant acclaim. Albums like Mr. Universe and Glory Road showcased his dynamic drumming, which played a crucial role in the band's success. Beyond his musical achievements, Mick Underwood's personal life was a testament to his dedication to family and community. He was known for his warmth, generosity, and his willingness to mentor young musicians. His wife Sue and his family were his pillars of strength, particularly during his later years as he battled Mick's dementia. Mick Underwood passed away at the age of 78, leaving behind a legacy that continues to inspire musicians and music lovers around the world. His family and fans remember him not only for his exceptional musical talent, but also for his kindness and enduring spirit. Tributes to Mick Underwood celebrate a life well-lived and a lasting impact on the rock genre. Arthur Miles, celebrated for his soulful voice and electrifying stage presence, was a distinguished American blues, jazz, and R&B musician whose impact on the music industry is nothing short of legendary. 
Known for his collaborations with iconic artists and his deep influence on the Italian music scene, Miles was a revered figure whose career spanned decades, earning him acclaim both in the United States and around the world. Born on November 14, 1949, in Indiana, USA, Arthur Miles moved to California at a young age, where his musical journey truly began. Deeply influenced by his uncle, jazz guitarist Wes Montgomery, and his father, a nightclub owner, Miles was steeped in music from an early age. By 14, he was performing professionally, developing a powerful and emotive vocal style that would become his signature sound. After honing his craft in the U.S., Miles set his sights on the world stage, spending several years performing in Japan before making a life-changing move to Italy in 1984. In Italy, he became a beloved figure, working with renowned artists like Zucchero, with whom he recorded multiple successful albums, including the hit Senza Una Donna. His contributions to Zucchero's work and his performances at prestigious events like the Umbria Jazz Festival cemented his status as a cross-cultural music ambassador. But Arthur Miles was more than just a musician. He was a philanthropist deeply committed to nurturing young talent. His kindness and generosity extended far beyond the stage, touching the lives of countless aspiring artists. Arthur Miles passed away at the age of 74, leaving behind a legacy that continues to inspire musicians and fans alike. His life was a testament to the universal power of music and his influence will be felt for generations to come. Tributes to Arthur Miles honor not only the incredible artist he was, but also the profound spirit of a man who dedicated his life to the magic of music. Haley Merkt, celebrated for her vibrant spirit and fearless approach to life, left an indelible mark on everyone who had the privilege of knowing her. Best known for her captivating presence on season 21 of The Bachelor, where she competed for Nick Vile's heart, Ailey quickly became a standout with her infectious humor, zest for life, and undeniable charm. Born on November 22, 1992, in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, Haley pursued a passion for modeling and photography, capturing the world through her distinct and creative lens. Her journey on reality television was defined by her genuine personality and adventurous spirit, making her an instant fan favorite. Her candid nature and ability to live fully in the moment endeared her not only to viewers, but also to her fellow contestant, showcasing a beauty that went far beyond the surface. Off screen, Haley was a devoted daughter and sister, deeply connected to her family. She shared a close bond with her mother, Michelle Merkt, and her siblings, Jenny and Kyle. Her openness about her battle with leukemia touched many lives, as she faced the illness with extraordinary strength and grace. Through candid updates on social media, Ailey shared both her joyful moments and her struggles, resonating with followers and highlighting her incredible resilience. Haley passed away at the age of 31, after a courageous fight against leukemia, leaving behind a legacy that continues to inspire. Her family, friends, and fans remember her as a beacon of light and positivity, celebrating the profound impact she had on the world. Tributes to Haley Merkt honor not just her life, but the enduring spirit continues to uplift those who knew her. Roberto Herlitzka, celebrated for his profound contributions to global theater and cinema, was a revered actor whose illustrious career spanned over five decades. Known for his nuanced and deeply emotive performances, Herlitzka earned widespread acclaim for his portrayal of complex and multifaceted characters. Among his many accolades, he was awarded the David Di Donatello for Best Supporting Actor and the Nastro d'Argento for Best Actor, notably for his role as Aldo Moro in Good Morning Night. His versatility and depth as an actor made him a cornerstone of Italian film and television, where he consistently delivered performances that resonated with audiences and critics alike. Born on October 2, 1937, in Italy, Roberto Herlitzka hailed from Czechoslovakian descent. His journey into the performing arts began at a young age, as he quickly established himself as a distinctive presence both on screen and stage. Throughout his extensive and storied career, he appeared in over 38 films, 
including such notable works as Seven Beauties, Great Beauty, and The Demons of St. Petersburg. His portrayal of Cardinal Bellucci in The Great Beauty was particularly lauded, as it showcased his ability to infuse his characters with profound introspection, humanity, and a palpable sense of realism. Herlitzka's impact extended far beyond the screen. He was not only a passionate advocate for the arts, but also an active participant in theatrical productions that delved into the complexities of the human condition. His contributions to the performing arts were not confined to his acting alone. He also served as a mentor and inspiration to younger generations of actors. Herlitzka generously shared his extensive knowledge and experience, influencing and guiding the future of Italian theater and cinema. In his personal life, Roberto Herlitzka was known for his quiet demeanor and deep intellectual curiosity. He was a man who valued education and culture often seen engaging in philosophical discussions and literary pursuits. Despite his significant success and recognition, he remained humble and profoundly dedicated to his craft, never losing sight of the importance of the arts in shaping society. Roberto Herlitzka passed away at the age of 86, leaving behind a legacy that continues to influence and inspire the Italian arts. His contributions to film and theater have left an indelible mark on both communities and his performances remain a lasting testament to his immense talent and unwavering dedication. As tributes pour in from all corners of the world, the memory of Roberto Herlitzka endures, inspiring future generations of actors and reminding us all of the transformative power of art. Renowned for her iconic voice and staunch advocacy for women's rights, Onyeka Onwenu, affectionately known as the Elegant Stallion, left an indelible mark on Nigeria's cultural and political landscape. Born in Nigeria, Onwenu was a celebrated singer, actor, broadcaster, and activist. She rose to fame in the 1980s with her soulful love ballads and thought-provoking songs, most notably the disco anthem One Love. Her track, You and I, became an iconic Nollywood soundtrack in the film Conspiracy, showcasing her dual talents as both a singer and actor. Onwenu completed her education in the United States, attending Wellesley College and the New School. Upon returning to Nigeria, she balanced a flourishing pop career with work at the Nigerian Television Authority, where she narrated the impactful documentary, Nigeria, A Squandering of Riches. Her collaborations with musical legends like King Sonny Ade, and her bold duet choices addressing sensitive topics like birth control were ahead of their time in a conservative society. A fierce advocate for justice, Onwenu was vocal in her support for fellow activist Fela Anikulapo Kuti, humorously turning down his marriage proposal by citing her inability to share him with his many wives. Transitioning to gospel music in the 1990s, she received national honors from Nigeria in 2003 and 2011 further solidifying her legacy. Onwenu passed away at the age of 72 after performing at a private party in Lagos. She is survived by her two sons and is remembered not only for her artistic contributions, but also for her unwavering advocacy for women's rights and social justice. Her legacy continues to inspire generations, with tributes pouring in, honor her enduring impact. Renowned for his heroism and unwavering dedication, Paul Buka was a distinguished Vietnam War veteran and recipient of the Medal of Honor. His courageous actions as a captain and commander of Company D, 3rd Battalion, in 87th Infantry Regiment during the Vietnam War solidified his place in history. Born on August 1, 1943, in Washington, D.C., Bucha was of Croatian descent. He attended the United States Military Academy at West Point and later earned an MBA from Stanford University. During a mission near Phuoc Vinh, Bucha led his company against a North Vietnamese battalion, demonstrating exceptional bravery by personally destroying enemy positions and organizing a defensive perimeter. His leadership and valor under fire earned him the Medal of Honor, presented by President Richard Nixon. After his military service, Uka transitioned to a successful career in business and public service. He worked with Ross Perot's company, Electronic Data Systems, EDS, 
and played a key role in the release of EDS employees detained during the Iranian Revolution. Bucha later co-founded a company to connect American businesses with foreign investors and served as chairman of the board of Wheeling Pittsburgh Steel Corporation. Active in political and civic life, Bucha was a foreign policy advisor for Barack Obama's 2008 presidential campaign and served as president of the Congressional Medal of Honor Society. He was a committed family man, living in Ridgefield, Connecticut, with his wife Cynthia and their four children. Paul Bucha passed away on July 31, 2024, just shy of his 81st birthday. His legacy of courage and service continues to inspire many. Tributes to Paul Bucha reflect the profound impact he had on countless lives, reminding us all of the enduring power of bravery and dedication. Renowned for his profound expertise on Russia and its human rights movement, Peter Redaway was a distinguished British-American political scientist whose work left a lasting impact on the field of political science. Born on September 18, 1939, in the United Kingdom, Redaway studied at Cambridge University, Harvard, Moscow State University, and the London School of Economics, where he also taught. Redaway moved to the United States in the 1980s, serving as the director of the Keenan Institute for Advanced Russian Studies from 1986 to 1989. He later became a professor of political science at George Washington University where he taught until his retirement in 2004, earning the title of Emeritus Professor. Deeply involved with the Soviet dissident and human rights movement since the early 1970s, Redaway published numerous influential works. His notable publications include Uncensored Russia, the Human Rights Movement in the USSR, and Psychiatric Terror, How Soviet Psychiatry is Used to Suppress Dissent, co-authored with Sidney Block. His insights were highly sought after in various forums, including congressional hearings in the United States, where he testified about corruption in Russia and critiqued the country's political developments under leaders like Boris Yeltsin and Vladimir Putin. Redaway's personal life reflected his unwavering commitment to justice and human rights. Known for his compassion and intellectual rigor, he maintained a private life dedicated to his principles. Peter Redaway passed away at the age of 84, leaving behind a legacy of scholarly excellence and tireless advocacy, human rights. Tributes to Peter Redaway honor his profound contributions and the lasting inspiration he provided to many. What's trending on the internet? News 1. Betty Pettit whose heartfelt journey with Alzheimer's disease touched the hearts of millions online, has passed away at the age of 86. Diagnosed 11 years ago, Betty became an internet sensation through the poignant and tender moments shared by her son Josh on social media platforms like TikTok and Instagram. Her story resonated deeply with people around the world, offering a window into the challenges and beauty of living with Alzheimer's. In a moving tribute on Facebook, Josh expressed profound gratitude for the outpouring of global support their family received throughout Betty's battle with the disease. He shared a particularly intimate memory from her final days, capturing the deep bond they shared. She held my hand and just talked and talked. She was happy I was listening, he wrote. This simple yet powerful moment illustrated the enduring love and connection that defined Betty's life. Betty's story gained widespread attention in 2021 when Josh posted a video of her speaking to her reflection in a mirror, unaware that she was talking to herself. The video, which poignantly depicted the day-to-day -day realities of Alzheimer's, went viral, garnering over 26 million views. This viral moment not only raised significant awareness, but also helped generate over $70,000 in donations, Alzheimer's research with Betty's story becoming a beacon of hope and advocacy. Her family is committed to continuing the fight against Alzheimer's, vowing to honor Betty's legacy by helping others understand and cope with the disease. Through their ongoing efforts, they aim to keep Betty's spirit alive, using her story as a source of inspiration and education. A funeral service to celebrate Betty's life is scheduled for August 4th, 
at Cavan Cook Funeral Home in Mooresville. Her memory will live on in the countless lives she touched and the lasting impact she made in raising awareness for Alzheimer's. Betty Pettit's journey was one of love, resilience, and a deep connection with those around her, leaving a legacy that will continue to inspire and bring hope to others facing similar challenges. News 2 Michelina Lombardi, the beloved matriarch affectionately known as Mama Lombardi, whose name graces the cherished Holbrook restaurant, passed away at the age of 92. Her passing on Thursday, July 25th, has stirred an outpouring of grief and heartfelt memories from the Long Island community she served with unwavering love and dedication. Mama Lombardi was a true icon, celebrated for her ability to bring families together over traditional Italian meals that were as rich in flavor as they were in love. The restaurant, which has long been a cornerstone of the community, announced a temporary closure on Monday, July 29th, to honor her memory. In a moving tribute on Facebook, the restaurant lauded Michelina's lasting legacy, noting how through her delicious food, she brought joy and togetherness to countless families enriching special moments from weddings to intimate family dinners. Born in Italy in 1931, Michelina immigrated to the United States in 1968, carrying with her a deep passion for cooking and gardening that would endear her to all who knew her. As a mother of eight and later a grandmother and great-grandmother, she infused her culinary creations with love, making her kitchen the heart of the home, a place where joy and generosity overflowed. Michelina's legacy is one of warmth, generosity, and an unwavering devotion to her family. Values that she deeply instilled in her children and that continue to ripple through the community she so dearly loved. As those who knew her reflect on her life, they celebrate her spirit as a source of inspiration, a beacon of familial love, and a symbol of community bonds that will endure for generations to come. Mama Lombardi's presence will be profoundly missed. But the love she shared, through her food and her life, will continue to nourish the hearts of all who were fortunate enough to experience. News 3. Cleveland is grieving the loss of Sean Calvey, a devoted firefighter and father of two, who passed away at the age of 37, a valiant fight against a rare form of esophageal cancer. Since joining the Cleveland Division of Fire in 2016, Sean was recognized for his courage and unwavering dedication to serving his community. Diagnosed in May 2023, Sean's condition rapidly advanced to stage 4, a severe development of a cancer that accounts for only about 1% of all cancer diagnoses in the U.S., according to the American Cancer Society. The community's overwhelming support was evident as they rallied around Sean and his family, raising over $200,000 through a GoFundMe campaign to assist with his treatment and provide for his loved ones during this incredibly difficult time. The loss of firefighter Calvi is deeply felt by his colleagues, friends, and everyone who knew him. He leaves behind a legacy of heroism and heartfelt service to the city of Cleveland. Sean's battle with this relentless disease highlights the unpredictable and devastating nature of such illnesses and the profound impact they have on families and entire communities. His memory will continue to inspire those who knew him and his dedication to his work and family will not be forgotten. Thank you for walking with us on this heartfelt journey of remembrance and tribute the extraordinary lives we've recently lost. As we bring today's episode to a close, our deepest gratitude goes out to each of you who has joined us in honoring their legacy. Your support, whether through a simple gesture or a heartfelt remembrance, truly reflects the enduring impact of their artistry and the deep connection they created with us all. Let us carry their spirit with us drawing inspiration from their contributions to our lives and the world of entertainment. Their memory lives on in the joy, beauty, and meaning they brought into our world. From all of us here at the Nostalgia Channel, thank you for your unwavering support 
and for helping to keep their memory alive in our heart.